Four people arrested in connection with those human remains found scattered across Long Island walked out of court free until their next court appearance. Also today, prosecutors released disturbing new details about what they found inside the home where three of those defendants lived. Eyewitness News reporter Sonia Rincon live at the courthouse in Central Iceland. Sonia? Sandra, all four of the suspects face the exact same two charges, tampering with evidence and concealing a human corpse, or as the prosecutor today put it more bluntly, hacking off limbs and scattering them. None of the suspects has been charged with killing the two victims. That means they are free to go until they're due back here or until they face more charges while investigators gather more evidence, which at this point is likely to be presented to a grand jury. The four suspects in the case of the scattered body parts hid their faces and dodged questions. 33-year-old Alexis Nieves, 40-year-old Amanda Wallace, 44-year-old Stephen Brown, and 38-year-old Jeffrey Mackey appeared in criminal court and walked out with monitoring bracelets. Three of them live at the home on Railroad Avenue in Amityville. Police searched Monday night and Tuesday morning. A prosecutor described the evidence at that house, including cutting tools like a meat cleaver and traces of human remains, but did not say who who killed or dismembered the two victims or why. You hear them talk about blood in a house, but you don't hear about witnesses. So that's all I gathered from today's proceeding. Lawyers for the suspects tell us they look forward to hearing from witnesses and seeing evidence. We've entered a plea of not guilty. Uh, we have not received uh, any discovery uh, at this point. We maintain our innocence. The suspects are free to go for now, but the three who live in Amityville can't go home. The apartment is considered uninhabitable because the plumbing there was taken apart, some of it removed because it contained evidence like blood. Still, all four have been ordered not to leave Suffolk County. She has a pretrial supervised release, which is monitored by the probation department, and there'll be a GPS monitor. Neither Suffolk County police nor the DA are ready to speak about the case as the investigation continues into the deaths of the 59-year-old woman and 53-year-old man. Their dismembered body parts found in Southerns Pond Park, Beth Page State Park, and a wooded strip on a residential street in West Babylon between last Thursday and yesterday. The names of the victims still haven't been released, and their relationship to the suspects is still a mystery. Yeah, those relationships between the suspects and the victims could be at the heart of all of this and could help explain why someone would go to such great lengths to leave the body parts in pieces across several miles of Suffolk County the way they were left. Again, for now, the suspects are on supervised release. They are due in court again in the next two weeks, but they could be back sooner if more evidence leads to more charges.